Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Eddie and you are now watching Rich Skincare. Um, on this channel we talk about all things beauty. So yeah, I tried to get a little, you know, cute for y'all. Y'all see my backdrop, it's like a sunflower backdrop. Um, so yeah, I love sunflowers, they're my favorite type of flowers. So yeah, I figured this outfit went with the backdrop or whatever like that. But anyway, um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about um, a particular product. I know y'all see in the title um, that, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about this product right here. I'm not sure if anybody made a review on it, but it's called Pure Skin. It looks like this. First of all, um, we're going to, you know, stay working on So I'm going to start off with showing you guys the packaging so you know how it looks. So back. This is the front. This is the back. It looks it has like a flip up top. Okay, so um, I figured this is how they get you when they put a light skin lady on the front or a caramel lady and they make you buy it, but then the product is not that good. So yeah, it's kind of sucky. But yeah, what we're gonna do is get into the ingredients. So it has water and mineral oil, petroleum, stearic acid, citol, the arlic, sterilic, alcohol, isopropyl, myrosate, glycerin, uh, propylene, glycol, propylene, paraben, sodium, lauryl, sulfate, BHT, tocopyrrole, acetate, um, methyl, paraben, citric acid, pomegranate, seed extract, collagen, kojic acid, cholesterol, sodium, sulfite, sodium, uh, the sulfite fragrance is the last ingredient. Sorry if I messed up some of them words, but they was very hard to pronounce, but I tried my best. I'll leave everything in the description box as well. So that's all the ingredients have in it. I really like it has kojic acid and collagen in it, which is well to pump up the skin. Cause yeah. Okay, yeah, I really like that. And it does not, and it, the first ingredient is water, which is really good. I mean, it's sort of hydrating. It has citric acid in it. Yeah, I like I like the fruity. It's like a little fruity, um, fruity uh, skin lightening lotion. And as you can see, it's that, I don't know if you can see it, but it says basically it's hydroquinone free right here. Um, so now that we went through, you know, the ingredients, the packaging and all of that stuff, I'm going to tell you guys my experience using it and what I don't like about it. Okay, so I was using this for like maybe a couple days. I started getting a re reaction on my skin that I did not like. So I started to basically, basically like white spots and stuff on my body. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Y'all, if y'all get white spots in your body, please discontinue the product. Don't keep using it and be like, oh, maybe it'll match up to my whole body and I'm just going to be even. No, it will never do that. It's just target certain areas, which is not that meaning there may be steroids in the product. It may say that it doesn't contain it, but it does. Okay, so first of all, I make sure I put some cream on the top of it just to see like when it dry up, how it will look. And as you can see, it's really dark, really dark, like really dark um this is the real color of it and this is the color around the hole um this that's how basically how it looks when it sits so i definitely didn't like that because i've been using my kara white for a long time now and i never experienced kara white drying up and turning black or a darker color like that um so that really just was like mm. everybody talks shit about kara white but kara white really like have my skin popping i'm still using my carol white i actually bought a new bottle a bigger bottle i'll show you guys in my other video this is my carol white this is my carol white um and i would i'm just basically trying to make an example about the pure skin and the carol white so basically i put the um I did a little test on this caraway. I love caraway. Like I even got the big bottle because I was just like, ah, I hate when I run out. So I did purchase the big bottle and the big bottle just basically looks like this. Excuse my um, my bed, it don't have a shoe on it because I'm washing clothes right now. But um, yeah, this is how it looks. And I just did a little test on it and put some uh, cream around it and see if it would get dark. And it didn't get dark. Your skin has a little color to it. It's like a peachy color. And Kara White has like, basically the cream is like orange. Um, but I've seen that 
it wasn't just the color of my pure skin it was it was just like the cream was like dark like black like dark but this is just orange i mean yeah it doesn't have any black around it or anything like that it's just orange so i really like that about caraway Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So that means it's, I feel like it's steroids and it's cream that they're not telling people. And um, and it says hydroquinone free. I don't know what to believe when it comes to this lotion. I would just say be really safe because um, I feel like they're not being completely honest. Um, yeah, I feel like they're not being completely honest when it comes to this product right here. So yeah, the packaging is pretty in pink, but don't let it fool you. I feel like it is a very, very bad cream. It will give you white spots, probably dark knuckles. If I was using it long enough, probably give me severely dark knuckles. So I definitely discontinued this product within like um, a couple days of using it. Um, it's very strong concentrate. So it's very strong. So if you do use this lotion, I could probably show you how to use it so you won't get bad results. Because I just used it. I didn't mix it. I just wanted to see how it's going to be when I just use it on my skin. Because a lot of you guys, you know, sometimes y'all like me to just try the product without mixing it. And it definitely was not good on my skin. It kind of irritated me. But I can show you guys how to mix it. Um, basically dilute it so it won't be that harsh or active on your skin. So, yeah. And, um... That's pretty much all I got to say for this cream right here. No, I would not recommend it. I think it's a very, very bad, harsh cream. I think it has a lot of steroids. And um, let's get into the smell. Ooh, the smell is very strong. It smells like steroids. I don't know, a strong ingredient that you just should not just directly put on your skin without precaution or without like mixing it or something like that. I wouldn't even mix this cream. I mix caraway, but I would not mix this cream. Um... I just wouldn't mix it. I just think it's trash. I really do. I, out of a 10, I would give this like maybe a one, like maybe a zero because it's really bad for your skin, like really bad. So um, it's a big bottle. It's a 500 milliliter, 16.9 fluid ounces. So definitely will ask you if it was a good cream, but it's not. And it's very strong, very strong. Um, the color is like a peachy color of the cream it's like a peach color but yeah i don't like this cream i would never use it i'm bad i waste my money i think it was like i put the retail price below it was very cheap cream so i should have known like but um yeah i don't like this cream i would not recommend it to any of you guys so if you see this cream go the other way <laughs> if you see it over here go this way if you see it over here go <laughs> run away from this cream because this cream is very very bad for your skin it won't make you like this girl it won't make you dark it will, you probably will have like dark stuff on your body and stuff or light patches like you don't want this cream right here so yeah i hope this was really help i hope this was really helpful and um yeah if you have any questions concerns on this product make sure you dm me on my instagram princess three underscores addy or you can leave it in the comments below i'll answer all your questions all your questions regarding this cream right here okay so yeah pure skin but it will make your skin harsh so don't use it um yeah thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one love you guys